Hello Soul Riders, we are finally here at level 3 of Starshine Legacy episode 3. And for those of you who are watching this live, like watching all the videos as soon as they come out, you will know that there has been a long break in the videos and that's because I am in the process of moving so I haven't had the opportunity to record any new episodes. But now we're finally back on track, I haven't moved yet, but now all the videos will continue to go out every single Sunday until we are done with both episode 3 and 4. And then we will go on to the Star Stable games and that's super exciting. And I'm really excited for this level because this is one of my favorite levels in the entire Starshine Legacy series. And I'm not entirely sure why, I think it's because of the level design. I'm just gonna show you all so you can see what it looks like. So last time uh, Concord fell down when Jessica approached him during Anne's training session where Derek had photographed her and Concord. And in order to help him, she needs to find Fripp, who is here in the Sacred Grove. And I'm, I'm not sure if she's entirely sure who she's going to meet. But she knows that she has to go, go here and investigate, so that's what we're doing. So we're just going to walk through here and if you have seen the previous episodes of this game, you would recognize this place because we have been here with both Linda and Lisa. And now Anne's phone is ringing, so we're going to answer that. Huh? And it's Alex. And uh, she's also mentioning the cutscene we saw in the last episode where Derek were attacked by some dark core goons who stole all his photographs. And they also broke his camera and Anne is mostly worried about her award-winning pictures, while Alex is more like, but hey, they kind of abused the guy. Be a bit nice to him. Mm. And Alex says that something mm -hmm. was very strange with the pictures that the goons dropped, so she's going to send over a message with one of the pictures so Anne can see it for herself. So it should arrive like now hmm. and it looks like this and yeah something is up because Concord is not supposed to have wings so uh, what should we make of this not sure but if we continue to run past here you will see that we can't really get through because we don't have a horse and mm -hmm. Anne cannot jump this far so we need to find another way over to the sacred grove which we can do by taking the staircase we saw over there. So let's take this thing. Steel girder. Hmm. Hmm. And then we're going here to the barricade and we're going to poke it down with the stick. Girder, I've never heard that word before. The more you know. There you go. So now we can walk down here and try to make our way over to the grove. Mm -hmm. And I see two golden stars here. See them glowing down there. In very far down over there. Uh, so we're gonna have to walk carefully here so we don't fall down. We don't really want that to happen. And here we'll have to use the girder again. Yeah, so there's a chasm there and uh, Either we can balance across one of the boards, or we can jump over it. And there we have another golden star. There we go. I am going to go the safe way and just balance my way over, because I don't want to jump down there. Star! Awesome, down there. Oh! Uh, yeah, so once you're here, you can never get up again. Would not want to get stuck here. Okay, so another drop, and another drop, and this is one thing that I really like about this level. Caves! I really like caves in, in games, so when we had those caves in Pandoria in Star Stable Online, I was so thrilled. I think that makes, like, it makes a really good atmosphere, and I think it's cool. I want more caves in games, especially in Star Stable. Ah! I'm about to fall down. Can I... Ah! I fell down. I tried to back up, but I couldn't. 
Okay, uh, but it's, it's good because I just got back to where I was. So now I'm going to be very careful going out here. I do not want to fall down and die again. You see how careful I am when, I, when I'm running. <laughs> okay, so here we have to jump. It was good that I stopped because I did not remember that. I would have fallen down. Uh, who built this? This was not here two games ago. Okay, I need to run. Ah! Mm -hmm. Yeah, so luckily enough we can jump in these games, which we cannot do in Star Stable Online. Uh, that would not have been fun in Star Stable Online. So, look, big three. Three. Big tree. Tiny girl. Now we're going to make the tree fall. Always this big issue with pronunciation whenever you're talking a language that isn't really your own. I'm doing my best here, guys. Oh dear. Uh, so now I have to jump here. Oh! Okay, and then we're going to go back. Without dying, hopefully. Okay, so the thing here is that there's some sort of elevator thingy here. And in order to use it, we have to poke that big stone down. And this is another thing that I think is very interesting about this level. Uh, I mean, I love this level, I think this is cool level design. But also, uh, when you have poked the stone down, how are you supposed to use the elevator again? <laughs> so it's like, it's like Fripp knew she was coming and just made something up here. So we're gonna stand over here, poke the stone down, and we're going to go up, 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 up. I almost wanna w make a uh, Eurovision reference to Euphoria, but hopefully you guys who lives in Europe can understand that one anyway. Did I miss something? I thought that I saw a golden star there. No? Close the fire. Okay, so I'm going to try to turn around. Uh, the maneuvering in this game is almost worse than it was in Star Stable before we got the animation update a good while back. Yay! We're here! We made it! I'm just going to check, see if there's any golden stars around. I don't think so. Nope. Nope. Okay, so... Why was that... Why were there a collision there? Yeah, so this is why, where you wind up, and then if you just go down here, you are going to find yourself in the sacred grove. Any golden stars? Stars? No. I don't think so. Ah! Holy. Uh, trigger with music. Okay, we're just going to go down there. I don't need any stars at this level anyway. Hmm. So this is the place. And it's going to take a closer look. On what? I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, so four horses, four girls, four symbols. Uh, we already know that the star is for Lee and Starshine, the moon is for Linda and Meteor, the lightning bolt is for Alex and Teen Khan, which is her horse, and the sun is for Anne and Concord. And she's making. She's, she's come to the same conclusions now while she's looking at the pictures. And I think it's interesting that. Linda's icon has glasses. I don't think they had glasses like thousands of years back. <laughs> but uh, this is one thing that I think is very strange. This is also present in the Swedish copy. She says that Concord has wings, but do you see any horse here with wings? No, I don't. It's so strange. Here's Fripp, anyhow. Uh, what? And, and it's like, hey, squirrel, you're not supposed to talk. And Fripp, of course, always get a bit offended when you call him Squirrel. Uh, so, let's go over there and talk to him. A talking Squirrel. Super strange. But he knows what's going on here, so he's going to explain everything to Anne. And he is now explaining that she's one of the Soul Riders, and the Fripp is their friend through the centuries. And he is helping the Soul Riders when times look dark and evil. Concord's soul is no longer in this world, but it is trapped in Pandoria. And most of you who are playing Star Stable Online, which should be all of you who's watching, knows what Pandoria is. It's a dangerous pink dimension uh, from which uh, Jorvik draws its magic. So we have to walk on the path of the winds through the portal and over the chasm beyond the sacred grove. 
and then we can reach Pandora. And that's Anne's special Soul Rider power. She can walk between worlds. So he went proof away, and we need to go to Pandora. So we're going over here. Stars? No? No? Okay, let's go then. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, portal. Let's just um, go out here and then just jump over the cliff and continue to run, run, run. Uh, because if this doesn't work, we're going to fall to our death. But let's go. And there we are. Anne feels strange, she's not falling, but something is happening. And she still only wants to save her horse. And we have now finished level 3 of Starshine Legacy episode 3. And that was all for this time. Next time we are going to visit Pandoria, which is going to be super exciting. I've been really looking forward to that episode. So, um... Well, yeah, if you have anything to say about what happened in this episode, please leave a comment. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I really hope to see you next time when we are going to visit Pandoria.